Hey everybody, Dr. Nick here on Feel Good Friday. Today I want to talk about one of the most common issues I see with the deadlift, even in experienced lifters. So the hip hinge is the foundation to basically all movements where we bend over. So a hip hinge starts at your hips, your spine is in a neutral position, you're engaging your core, your shoulders are down and back, and you go down into your hinge. And we've talked about this in other videos. But there's this one, one issue that I see that can mess up a perfectly good hinge. And it has to do with your neck. What I see all the time is a perfect hip hinge, but the head and neck are looking forward. Part of that is because our heads always want to be looking upright. Okay, our brains subconsciously are going to position our heads so they look upright. But I think another big reason why that happens is because the lever arm is shortened a little bit. Let me explain. So when you're bending forward, your hip is the hinge. So from your hip up all the way to the top of your head, you're, making, you're forming a lever that's going to bend over. So the hinge here, the fulcrum here, is where the, the motion is going to happen, but the longer the lever arm, the harder it is to move. So think about picking up a 50 pound weight out to the side like this, where the fulcrum is my shoulder and the weight is in my hand. That's a lot harder than picking up a 50 pound weight like this, because now the lever arm is a lot shorter, so it's easier to pick up. Same thing with the hip hinge. What I think is happening, I think it's our body's natural compensation to lift more weight. So when we come down forward in a proper hip hinge with proper neck posture, it looks like this. But now when I lift my head and strain my neck, now the lever arm gets shorter. it gets shorter about a head's length, right? Because now I'm looking straight up instead of down, so that lever arm got a little bit shorter. So this is the same reason why when you perform a deadlift, it's important to keep the bar as close to your body as possible and ride it up your shins as opposed to letting it hang away from your body because the load is closer to your fulcrum. And even though in a deadlift, the load isn't coming from your head, by lifting your head up and shortening that lever arm, you're essentially removing some of the weight of your head from the lift. So even if you perfect that hip hinge, make sure you're paying attention to the position of your head and your neck. That's a very dangerous position for your neck. So next time you deadlift, yes, be sure your hip hinge is on point, but don't forget about your head and your neck. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.